I won't let you down. But you let so many people down in Arena. Anduin. Teacher. Maiden. Or novice. Reach hero power is decent, but if you are in a position where you can use it, you're usually already winning. But it does have a lot of health, so it's a slight positive. Let's go mid. Ogre or light spawn. Go ogre. I already have two forests. Only fire. Spellbreaker. Okay. Death. There's my bomb lover now. Frosty. Hot, hot, hot. Good old Reno Jackson shows his face, though Baron Geddon is a pretty good card in Priest. Maybe you can heal your own guys. Uh, this early on, I don't know whether or not I'm going to get multiple stuffs also. But Reno Jackson is just so hot. Hard not to pick him. The difference between like a good pick here and a good pick sometimes. Uh, I'm gonna pick the hot card. And this is in fact who you think it is. Unfortunately. Not the other hot card, even though he's also hot. Alright, I have no two drops so far, and it's very important to get two drops. Uh, in Priest, Ogre is really good, but if you get no Bloodfin Raptors, you lose the game. Not sure if it's a tough pick, or maybe I'm just too value focused. It's one of those situations where. If you make it to the late game with Priest, you're usually doing well anyways, so you have to actually make it there, I'm sad. Break. Harvest Golem. Harvest Golem. Oh, my Bomber's good too. But Harvest Golem. Tigger. Sludge. Okay, we're going good so far. I need that 2-drop. Light Bomb. Uh, that card's good. Another Raptor. Another 2-drop. Another 2-drop, which catches up. Another 2-drop. Or I can either choose a good 5-drop. Uh, so far I have 1, 3, 4, 2-drops. I'm looking for like 7 active ones. 7 picks left, I want 3 of them. Alright, another 2-drop. We're good. Another two draw. Oh, Arjun Horse Rider. It's not worth it to pick Circle of Healing with only one combo. Well, two combos. Still not worth. Uh, Museum Curator is really good. I guess I'll choose that over Arjun Horse Rider. And it's a two. One, two, four, five. Ooh, Shredder. Your Bashi Berserker is super slow, but the other cards are mediocre. However, I don't actually have many three drops, so maybe one of three mana three three. Especially since my late game is pretty decent. This is gonna be so non-greedy by me. Wait, why am I picking Gurubashi Berserk? Well, why am I choosing a 3 minute 3-3 three, three, though? Because early game is important. Yeah, Mech Warper into Harvest Golems. Let's see, 4 drops, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 drops, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. With that not really being good, and I didn't count that, I'll pick a Mech Warper. Uh, I can't use my hero power on turn 2. Rather, I don't want to, so the Lowly Squire is quite bad. Go with this good 4-drop. And finally, another Holy Fire? Question mark? Yeah, okay. Alright, so I ended up picking up uh, two duplicate cards anyways. Not that it matters. Reno Jackson kind of compounds the problem with Priest, where if you lose the early game, it's not like you can come back. I guess Light Bomb is one comeback card, but otherwise, no. So, this stack turned out to be pretty decent. There's no bad cards in it, I say as I look again. There are no bad cards in this deck. And the curve is quite good, with 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 2 drops that I can actively play. Uh, 4, 3 drops that I can actively play. Going to a good host of 4 drops, quality 5 drops, decent 6s, I got Baron Geddon as a special. Really nothing much to say about this one. It's very standard. I will guess seven wins. Let the hunt begin. The light shall bring victory. Uh, against the hunter, do I want to start with the cleric? I will.
And if he coins that up 3-2, he can follow up with Museum Curator and then kill the 3-2. Dummy. Dummy. Welcome to the exhibit. Mm, that's a good three. Right away. Alright, more well, Shire Clark's gonna be able to kill a card. served her purpose. She drew out a coin and a defender of Argus. But I'm still sad. I lost infinite valley. Time to run the board of Holy Champion. And her assistant, Maiden of the Lake. Assistant down. Does this hurt? Get back, yes, daddy dogs. The sad thing is, I don't actually heal. Oh, shadow or death. Sure. Okay, good card. I need to take damage that when I play Holy Fire. This card gets buffed. Oh, okay. You asked for it. But a life shall bring victory. I have better four drops. And I wanna get a three. Got the three. With this hand, all I have to do is get a four drop and then I win. That might be good enough. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. I can kill that and then heal my harvest golem. Use the three drop to deal with half of my three drop. We're still good. Let's see. That's a four drop. Shadowward Pain has gotten a lot better as more three fives have been printed. Eh, unfortunately, I can't target that. Unfortunately, I can't kill that. Probably planned on his side. Keep curve. That's the card that he got with the Scarab. I should check for Mirror Entity. Plus I got that, so this is really good. Welcome to the exhibit. Yeah, okay. Kill that first since it's slow if it gets duplicated or aphogene. That kills that. No, this kills that. I'd rather give him two fairy dragons. He's almost out of a card. Deck. Something. Okay. Maybe counter spell. Look at how well piloted Shredder kills piloted Sky Golem. Great trade. Okay, this might get counterspelled, so therefore, I'll just take the damage.
Hmm. Okay, that taunt, so I couldn't hit it first. Get him first. Thought about baiting out the polymorph with ogre first, but I guess this guy will just bait out the polymorph. If such a thing exists. This needs time. So much value. Look at all that pain value. Sure, play around MCT. No. Oh. I am freed from the curse. Play around second flame strike. Nope. At least it wasn't Sir Finley Murgleton. Well played. You win. Watch your back. The light shall bring victory. Hmm, keep shredder. Best 4 drop in the game. Best 4 drop in my deck. But I have other 4 drops. Want 2 drops. I think my other 4 drops are competitive enough. I really want to start off with 2, 3. And then 4 drop is competitive, and I got a 3. And if I had more 2's in my deck, I might have kept the Shredder. And if I had a 2 in my hand, I certainly would have kept Shredder. If I play this, his best move is hero power by a lot. I guess I play this. <laughs> Could play a 4-3. Deal my 4 damage to that. Just harvest golem, go off curve. Next turn play BGH Raptor. Might be right. If I got a 2-1, I would have uh, traded there and then played Spellbreaker. Maiden, when attacked by Hungry Dragon and Hero Power, I can follow up with Soul Priest heal. Feels slow. Alternative play. Bloodfen Raptor, big game hunter. 3 2 takes out BGH. Raptor plus this, theoretically, take out Hungry Dragon. He would need an answer. Get to save the Spellbreaker. Uh, okay. Possible disaster scenario. This spits onto the 3 2. That would be really bad. Uh, let's go with this. Seems decent. Uh, the goal is to just deal two damage to the hungry dragon. It's getting hot in here. Something needs tinkering. My bomb not bad, but I think I can get even more stuff next turn. And thus begins the cycle of greed. <laughs> Or isn't that threatening right now? Technically, this Akanai Soul Priest uh, does exactly the same thing as Light Bomb. Clears off nearly as much, guys. I wonder. Darn. Successful spit on his side. Should uh 
put a lot of stuff into light bomb range. And he'll play more cards. Hopefully. <laughs> Not playing around Holy Nova. Though. Oh. Everything worked out as I would have liked. Baron Geddon would have been an awesome top deck there. Let's get Should I play a Harvest Golem if it'll accomplish absolutely nothing? It gets this down by a little bit. I don't think that accomplishes anything. I'll just heal pass. Yeah, currently my entire hand loses to a 3-5. This does not, but he's bound to play cards. Yeah, if only I got the plus one attack, could have hit the big game hunter with that. Hmm. My board is going to look very bad after this turn. I guess I'll just play on curve. But he perfectly trades into both. So I guess I just have to top deck Baron Geddon. What lurks in the depths? It's bad, but interestingly enough, not that bad. Eh, it's bad, but pretty bad. Kind of doomed. Well played. You have best. Kind of bad. I must protect the one. The light shall bring victory. North Shark Cleric. Can't possibly protect it against the Druid. I'll toss it. It's a late game card. That's a good hand. No. Oh. More Shack Clark would have been pretty good. Oh well. I might actually be in a situation where I overvalue North Shark Clark. One mana, one three. Oh no, I undervalue 1 mana 1 3s a lot too, though. Or maybe not undervalue as much as I don't care about them. Let the pain speak to me. Seems like a very poor play. Let's see which one of these do I play. This one. It's in his interest for the Harvest Golem to stick around so he can draw two off of that thing. Not to mention he lost his 2-3 somehow under this line. So next turn I can play Akanai uh, heal this if he does this plus hero power. You're in trouble now! Wow. Hmm. That guy's scary. Maybe I play a light bomb here. Maybe. Alternative plays. Trade holy fire. Really slow. Heal, heal, hit, heal. That's not bad. That's actually decent. Kind of encourages him to hero power, and my 3 2 can get in there. Hmm. 
People might scoff at the holy fire, but I have nothing against hurting myself for five right now. It doesn't matter. It just turns out that six mana deal five is really weak. Then I can just deal with that potentially with this card. And then I always have this card in case he can deal with this card. And I always have this card in case he can win. Yeah. Light Bomb currently deals with two of his cards. But I might be able to wait around for even better stuff. Plus, I have two of these cards. Hey, look, it's an 8 8. It's a good target to Light Bomb. Let's do it. I was almost tempted to let him hit me for that with the with the tree, but that's probably a bit too much. A little bit too much. I don't want to bomb lover that because it's only two health, but I can get a pretty commanding presence on this turn. Good enough, I suppose. Not even that commanding, but. I get to be the one putting on pressure now. And she's a good tempo here. I could have healed that into a uh, 3-1, but that would only make him spend two mana on shapeshift. Right now, my board is good against Mounted Raptor. This looks like it might be one of those rare games where it gets into the late game, and I've picked a few early game cards over late game cards, and maybe I lose. Maybe. But these games are rarer than. Typically kind of rare. Oh. And draw last twice. <laughs> Alright, so currently I have no answers to big cards. I mean, other than using the Holy Fire and trading away a pretty substantial card myself. That's a big card. Too bad that's the wrong shadow word. Alright, so he's got two, three spare parts. We only have six cards left. Maybe I'll, uh... Maybe I can get through all the threats. Heal. Hmm. Take this blade. Then I need to not have this guy die to that guy. So I'm trying to deal two more damage to it so I can bear it and get and kill it. I still got stuff. Four two. If I play the four two, I wonder if he'll use the five one to kill it, or if he'll try to get a freebie with that. Too risky. This might two for one. It did. So all I have to do is deal. He has two spare parts in his hand, two cards, and three of these. So I just need to deal with uh, six more cards in his deck with my twelve card deck. 11 plus 1. Even as a 4-2, that can at least deal with the Sludge Vulture. Huh, he didn't play very many cards that turn. Surprisingly better card, since this just dies to that. No Twilight Drake drew a swipe. I'll take that. 
Only has four cards left, plus the Sludge Belcher that I have to deal with. So you can only try to beat me with these three cards. Next turn, if he has a big card, and play it. I don't think I need the tempo. That was sick. Oh my gosh, my deck barely managed to hold this up. But we did it! Hooray! I will fight with honor. The light shall bring victory. Well, good news, bad news. Bad news, the early game plays. Good news, hand priest with twilight trick. Bad news, that's usually still not good enough. Good news. Ah, four six. Pretty good. Oh, I can do this. Yeah, that's pretty good. If the spit hits, then I guess I heal. I think I heal either way. I don't want to ooze. Okay. So, the obvious play is Bomb Lobber. Getting a 5 2 is pretty good. However, the Ogre does not die to the Spider, and it's better on curve. And the Ogre technically deals with the Spider, anyways. And the Ogre deals with the next thing that comes out, and then I Bomb Lobber the Spider. If there was a third blessing, then use Bomb Lobber after, or Shadow or Death. Your magic shall not save you. Not even punished, because eventually I can use this Bomb Lobber to good effect. Eventually. It'll just take a little bit longer. Okay. He hasn't used the weapon in a while. He doesn't have one. Probably. Oh, it's a weapon. Poor Bomb Lover. It's okay. I'll get Bomb Lover value someday. I'll get Baron Geddon value someday, too. It's not today. Really? So many Paladin cards. 
Yeah, with only one card left, that's definitely gonna be Shadow Red Death. Ooh, nice. Pay attention, class. The Paladins have no burst whatsoever. So we just heal. I mean, they don't have that much burst. Easy game. Hmm? Oh. I'm not killing the 1 1 though? Wow. Ready, sir. Wow. Huh. Okay, we gotta actually think of the game plan. Red Knight is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 11 damage. 5, 4 kills the 4, 4, 3, 5 kills the 2, 2. 1, 1 kills one of the 1, 1s. He is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I actually think Heron Bloodhoof might be correct. Unless I want to risk a bomber. Bomb lobber. I'm so dumb. Nah, I'm so dumb. So far ahead, right? Kind of. Eh, I don't know. It looked like a really good sheep, and then I realized oh, he only has four guys. And he kills off my own board. But I was like, I'm so far ahead. But, eh. It's one of those situations where the sheep looks good, and I feel like I would have been made fun of if I hadn't chosen the sheep. But the sheep was not the right choice, probably. It was like being paranoid when I didn't need to be paranoid. Hmm, that's good. Definitely could lose the game because of my poor choice of discover there. Come on, Baron Gen. Hey, look, it's Baron Gen. That's a card. There are two plays here. Heal Baron Geddon, heal myself, or Pilot Trader. I guess that means there are three plays. Yeah, this card's really good. Oh my gosh, this Paladin deck was insane. Two Muster, two Blessing of Kings, and two Consecration. Along with a host of decent cards. I actually hadn't expected him necessarily to get up there. But cool.